Good day everyone, my name is Mahulan and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am in a small town called Penishaw in Kangaroo Island, South Australia. Today is my last day in Kangaroo Island and what we are going to do in this video is we are going to go look around this beautiful city, go searching for penguins along the beach and also we came to know that there is a trail called Kangaroo Island Sculpture Trail. We are going to do that one too. Before starting this video, I would like to ask you guys to consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's go and look around this beautiful Penishaw city. This city is very close to the sea guys. You can see the ferry terminal at the far and the building just opposite to us is Kangaroo Island Connect where we hired our car. On this side, you can see a park which is called as Penishaw Youth and Community Park. See, few guys are skateboarding in this park. Let's go and have a look. Alright guys, the next place we are going to go is the beach. Let's go there. This place is called as Hog Bay and we got a map here showing where we are. We are right here. This place is surrounded by sea and mountain ranges. Such a beautiful city guys. All right, now let's keep walking to the beach. That is the ferry terminal in Kangaroo Island guys. You can see ferries and other boats frequently coming to and going from this place. This beach is a very beautiful beach guys. You can also see the mountain ranges on that side and there are few houses in the mountain ranges. Alright guys, that was a quick tour around this beach and I am going to go to the next place. There is a park along this beach, we are going to go there and after that we are going to go searching for penguins. Lloyd Collins Memorial Reserve is the small park along this beach guys. You can see some colorful and beautiful roses here in this section. The grass in this park is so green and you can't even find a place with sand or rock. The ground is fully covered with the grass like a green mat.
In this board, there are some information about Southern Right Whale. Let's have a look at this. It is said that Southern Right Whale used to come along this beach during winter season and if we are lucky enough, we can witness them here. Alright guys, now we are at a penguin center. There are tools operating in this place to go searching for penguins. Most of the tools are operating in the night time only and now this place is closed. However, we can still access this trail and go searching for penguins by ourselves. Let's go and see if we can encounter any penguins by the beach. Look at here guys, here is a wallaby feeding itself. You can also see another one a little bit far from the first one. He is right there under the tree. Here you can see some kind of penguins. First, there is some information about adults penguins. Then the difference between male and female is mentioned here. It is mentioned that male and female are differentiated by their beaks as male have a long curvy beak while female having a short straight beak. Also, you can see some other penguin types called scruffy, fluffy, blue flippers and brown colors. Wow. I just came to know about these types of penguins guys. There are also few safety precautions and how to approach penguins given here when we are going searching for penguins. You can also have a look at them. There is also a bench available here for people to sit and relax with a good beach view. Such a good place guys. As it is an afternoon time, I'm not sure about seeing a penguin guys. They can be normally seen in the mornings and evenings. Anyway, let's walk and search if we can find any. Alright guys, I was waiting and searching for penguins for nearly an hour and I couldn't see any penguins. So what I'm going to do is go to the next place. The next place where I am going is called as Kangaroo Island Sculpture Trail and let's go there now. This is the entrance of the sculpture trail guys. You can see the map of this place here and few information about this place shown here. There is a small sculpture present here at the start of this trail. There are wooden steps constructed for this trail for the ease of people trekking and it looks good. In few places, there are maps installed so that we can track where are we 
and keep going in the right direction. Look at here guys, there are a couple of trees on our way and rather than chopping the trees and damaging them, there is an elevated wooden platform installed in between them and people can walk through that. Such a great creativity to conserve the nature. There is also a nest structure here guys. Some flexible branches, woods and roots were used to make nest structure and few rocks in the shape of eggs are placed inside. This looks like a real bird nest. Alright guys, now we are almost at the top of this trail. There is a bench available to sit and relax with a good view. On that side, you can see the ferry terminal and the beautiful blue ocean. Nice view now. You can see few more sculptures here guys. These are different kind of flowers and they are fabricated in steel. You can also see the names of each flower at the bottom. The name of the first one is Corybus Despectans. Look at this flower here. The name of this one is Caledonia Ovata. Then the name of this one is Delimetra Matthews. All these flower sculptures were made by a person called Victor Veklavik and there are a few information given here about that person and this place. On our way, there is an old structure made by steel pieces guys. You can have a look at that now. This sculpture was done by Ken Lowe and this structure is called as the Watcher. Look at this suspension bridge guys. This is a hanging bridge present in this sculpture trail this bridge is not having any columns in the middle and it is only supported by the pillars or columns on either sides and the cables are carrying the bridge. The information about this bridge is present here. This was constructed in 1920 by Ellie Clark and it was constructed by iron cables, eucalyptus timber and other wood pieces. Then after 100 years it was renovated and the new bridge was formed. On this side you guys can see some cottage accommodations where people can stay. Such a nice place to stay in Kangaroo Island. Alright guys, we came to the end of this video. You guys would have seen the beauty of this small town, beach and this trail in this video and hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up on this video, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon for future updates and I will see you all in another beautiful video. Till then, thanks for watching, cheers and take care.